What's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing my first ever reaction reaction or review. I guess type of both in it because it's my first reaction to this because I've never heard it before. Um yeah. Scraps is back, baby. In 2021, his last album was called Be Right Back. Big man, you lied. You was not right back. He's but right back in somewhere else, just you know, not making music. This one is called Reflection, so I'm assuming it's gonna be more of a deep album. I feel like we're gonna get a more mature scraps, which I'm interested in hearing. So yeah, uh, let's do this, man. Uh, this is com a complete first blind reaction, by the way. I've not heard anything on here. I don't think anyway. Oh, Rocking Chair. I think I've heard Rocking Chair. Um, if I, I'm lying, I've, I've definitely heard Rocking Chair. But yeah, let's just let's start wasting time, man, because this is 42 minutes long. Let's just dive straight into it. Pause. Intro. Let's go. Lately, I've been feeling like I am Mike did in 86 when he dropped a couple niggas and he knew that that was it. My wits blacked out, totally eclipsed. I'm wearing YSL, but I ain't listening to Gunner. He's a snitch. I got bare bad bitches on my... Well, we know where he stands with Gunner. Yo, he's he's flowing like butter right now. I can't lie. This is smooth as hell. I if we if we get a whole album of this, listen. Oof, this is gonna be tough. But these other rappers like how I put the work in, it didn't happen overnight. What happens in the darkness will always come to light. The RS 11's got me higher than a cliff, I'm everything sweet. I pull up at your front door like Uber Eats. I look Halloween, but it's not trick or treat. I load Yo, <laughs> I pull up at your front door, but I'm not Uber Eats. And what do you say, something about Halloween, but it's not trick or treat, bro? Oh, God. Yo, it's. It's still there. It's still there with scraps, man. It don't leave. Facts. Yo, facts. Listen, when you when you take a girl out to eat, when you're from that type of life as well, you can never have your back turned to the whole audience. You gotta take a seat in the corner and you gotta be facing the entire room. That's yeah, that's that's facts. Hey, listen. If you know, you know. If he can keep this up for the whole album, obviously he won't. But if he can, boy, this is this is a very strong start. I'll be real. This is one of the best intros I've heard in a while, actually. But yeah, let's let's move on because I'm very, I'm very excited to hear how this is gonna sound. By the way, this is Cuban Links with Scraps Nines and DBE. I keep going till the wheels fall off and the deals called off. Even then, I probably still won't stop. Still trying to cop the yacht with the helicopter pad at the top. That's that's real luxury rap talk. That's like, it reminds me of sort of like that Rick Ross type of rap where it's just like you can feel the wealth when you hear it, man. Oh wow. <laughs> Yo, what a line that is. If I heard that correctly, that's a great bar. I was cotton picking while still owning my masters. What? Oh man, yo, I love the, the way Nines raps. Is he always leaves his verse off with like that one, like almost like punchline bar, and it's amazing every single time. Listen, this album is off to a good start, man. But yeah, everyone, do you know what? LB it was actually it was actually a decent verse. Um, so yeah, listen, I've I've got no complaints about that so far. Obviously, Scraps, Nines, they brought it. And yeah, the hook from Ads was great. As always, we, Ads always usually delivers on his hooks. Um, yeah, and LB, actually, do you know what? I'm impressed. Which um, I, I don't always say a lot of the time about LB. But yeah, he's he's impressed me here, man. Um, but yeah, let's move on to our next track. This is, right, Slippery Slope now with Tiggs the Off and M Huncher. Okay, I'm, I'm excited by this. 
Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yo. This beat is crazy. Got so many bitches could probably be start an academy. <laughs> Before Huncho starts his verse, I already know he's gonna go off on this beat as well. This beat is just screaming for him. Pause. For like for him to go off on this. Uh, this is this is like tailor made for Huncho. Simple maths, but it it gets the job done. I'll say this, it's not my favorite Tiggs hook ever. Um but yeah, the beat for me the beat if if it, if they just released the beat by itself it would have been enough for me. This is knocking like crazy. Like this is definitely one you could just like I don't know, just playing your whip just like driving for about 60 minutes in circles just with this playing non-stop and not get tired. But yeah, the hook it's not my favorite, but yeah, I guess the job done. Scrubs' verse. Scrubs' verse was all right. It's more like laid back, like a chilled flow, which, hey, listen, man, sometimes you got to do that. And yeah, Huncho, Huncho done his thing. Right, next track we've got is Slim Chance. We're living in a times where people record themselves doing crime and they wonder how they end up inside seeing a nigga get because it's so fun and games to not aim fun and games. We was pulling up in whips, now it's pull-ups and dips. And now we're sitting on remand and it's Ooh, that one gave me chills, boy. <laughs> There's always that stereotype which goes around where men who go to jail, they either come out Muslim or hench. Sometimes both. I feel like he's definitely speaking about someone from his past life. This is more what I've expected from him in this album, to be fair. Which, you know kind of goes with the album where he's just sort of like reflecting on his past experiences which i i think is very healthy because you know music at the end of the day is a form of expression you know he's supposed to like you know lay everything out on the track that's one thing that a lot of like i don't want to use the term but like street rappers struggle with at the end of the day um but yeah when the, when they can talk about it because at the end of the day those types of people have the most craziest stories the amount of things that they can pull from is incredible. And if they can convert that into art, it can, you know, it can lead to this, which is amazing. But yeah, man, next track, Normal. Everybody's asking when the album's coming out. Will you rap in oh, What's the album called? Who you got I've heard this. Will this is cool, man. I, I like this track when it came out and, you know, I, I still like it now. Yeah, man, he is, he is five for five right now. Let's see if we can keep this. I did not expect to like this this much. I'll be real. But yeah, let's go to the next track, Longevity, featuring Seku at Oh My God, Man Like, Pot of Paper, let's go. I wish all my niggas longevity and prosperity, I don't like negativity or bad energy, I've been through so much that I think I need therapy. I Yo, this has got like a gospel vibe to it. There's there's definitely like a theme and it flows pretty well. Everyone's made a good contribution so far. The one I've been let down like probably the most bad. I won't even say let down because it was still cool is from Tiggs from that hook. But everyone else like bro even Seku right now on the hook on the gospel singing thing is be singing boy. So next track is Need a Break. I can't lie, I need a break after this, boy. This is crazy. I thank the Lord for the blessings from above. Amen. And tell my fans I appreciate the love. Larger. We came home, people said I look mother. A man said I look good, I said lava. All the time in my life, I just take it in my stride. More. In jail, I found out I lost my father. I oh, man. I the phone and started bawling. I sat down on my bed, built a spliff, couldn't sleep. Then I tried to act normal in the morning. Yo, that's, oh man, this, bro, that's deep, flipping out. That type of thing will change you, boy. That, that explains a lot why he's made this album then, I guess. I had two J's that was on my face, used to argue with each other like Monica and Brandy. <laughs> Good reference. Yo, I did not expect this hook. Like the pain that he's experiencing, and now this hook right now, just all like reminiscing. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm so glad he gave her like a final verse at the end because she absolutely smoked. What's her name? Bella. Yo, she absolutely smoked that man. That hook and the, even the verse. Wow, man. I'm gonna have to check her out after this. Her music. Her music. Right, marathon. I can't lie. I've I don't. Know it's been a while since I've recorded for this long. This feels like a marathon for me right now. Niggas thought that I was done. Oh, here's another one. Think I'm doing this for fun. <laughs> I pull the other one. I'm in it for the long run, like a marathon, and I'm still in my prime. I work at Amazon. You want me to carry on? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Think I'm pull up in a fast car, Formula One, and I ain't got the low spec. It's the other one. I'm trying to make enough though to buy my brother one. And next year I might go get a Cullinan. You know I'm in a plush restaurant eating calamari. They say I'm being loud, probably got my I almost didn't catch that then. They feel like I'm being loud because I got that Cali on me. Yo, those ha ha ad libs are killing me, man. It's not my favorite so far, but do you know what? It's it's not a bad track at all. If I, it's actually pretty good. Um, I don't think he's missed so far. This is impressive. We're about halfway through, right? This first half, like right now, is like a solid 9 out of 10. So far, this might be my favourite Scraps project. The next track, I'm Yours. She said she wants to be together forever. She knows that I'm a go-getter, a trendsetter, said she doesn't like she Alright, so this is the girl track. It's got a gospel hook, but the beat behind it is just adding so much to it. Do you know what? The way this album has been produced so far has been amazing. And whenever you put gospel mixed in into rap as well, like... I'm I'm always gonna be there. This right now, this I'm I'm loving this right now. Scraps. You like peppermint tea in the morning? It low key hits. I'm way too grown to be chilling on these corners, my baby. Yeah, man. So now he's saying that he's way too grown to be chilling on the corners now he's with his girl. This is this is what this is what I expected. I'm so glad that he's here, man. This sort of like journey through, you know, being like addicted to the money, like addicted to the game almost, but now gotten to that point where it's just like, yo, reflecting upon that and being like, yo, I'm out of it now. That's not important to me. This is what's important to him now. I'm here for it, man. I love it. Another solid, solid track, man. This is, yeah. He's not missed so far. And we're getting close to the end. And we've got a track called Motivational Speech next. Say you have to trust the process. You ain't made it yet, but you're making progress. Don't stress, put your trust in God, you know best. Keep he's, not, he's not had a bad, I don't think I've heard a bad verse on this album yet. Which is crazy to say since we're like, what? Nine nine tracks in. This might be one of the best UK albums I've heard for a while, like for a few years. This is this is good. You have to eat even when you got no appetite. Having vision ain't enough. You got a pattern, right? A man in grey areas too, cause it ain't black and white. You gotta keep your head up. You gotta keep going even when you're getting fed up. You gotta give thanks in the morning when you get up. Time facts. He's been that motivational type talk right now. Yo, listen, man. It's facts. It's literally like the way what he's talking about right now is a lot of, you know, is echoing a lot what Nines was saying in Crabs in a Bucket, you know? Just people like trying to bring man down, like trying to bring your dream down. Bro, at the end of the day, allow them. It's it's natural progression at the end of the day. Not everyone's gonna follow the same path you're on. You know, you gotta live your dream. Or you gotta at least attempt to live your dream at the end of the day. Times I fresh to start comes from my darkest sin and rather than pull my heart aside and just to bleed my pen. Always been a go get I'm told to quit. No never when people try to kill your dreams, don't stop and do better. Brighten up your mother's day cause she gets to see her sun shine. <laughs> That was a nice way to end it. Yeah, man. I love I love the way how he used, like, the... Obviously, you know, George the Poet and Terrell the Artist. Like, I love the way that he used, sort of, like, poetry as the hook. So, it's, like, 
it's not a traditional hook, but it's also more motivational type of talk, not in verse form. So it gives you like a little bit of a breather, which I thought was like very well done. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have much of a breather in this next track, though, because this is Line of Fire Part 8. I can't believe there's eight parts of this. This is coming like me about music at this point. Said she doesn't speak no English. They said oh. Like Yo, this beat is crazy. Oh my days. Oh my days. Yo, I've not I've not paused this entire time. This sounds like a song that you would like literally play on a ride out like this is the type of song that they'd be playing when they'd be doing drive-bys and shit like bro this is this is so the beat is so dark and the way these men are spitting as well is just <laughs> that reminds me of that one scene in um i don't know if uh, many people have seen the biggie movie it reminds me of that one scene where um um, obviously Biggie, um, his mum finds a plate under his bed, which she throws out because she thinks it's mashed potatoes. It's not mashed potatoes. We have four tracks left. One of them I've already heard and I know it's good. Rocking chair with nines. I've already heard this, but I'll just, I'll play a little bit of it anyway. I've got a whole heap of money to retrieve and I've got way more things I need to achieve. I bet you never know I had tricks up my sleeve. I see going platinum when I write a caption. This album is so good. <laughs> I've really enjoyed listening to this. Um, of, yeah, we've got three tracks left. One of them's the outro. One of them's reflection with Tiggs the author, which is a title track. Yeah, this this might be a crazy ending as well. Has this come out already? Oh, okay. So this has been released already. Oh, okay. I've not actually heard this song in full. I think I've only heard the hook. This is why I was like, oh, I think I've heard this before. Um, but yeah, I'm going I'm to let it play anyway because this is my first time hearing the full thing. Hey, yo. I feel like that's every, like... I feel like that's every street guy's dream is to like beat beat a case and then just do that walk back like two pack man. That's <laughs> that's funny. There's not been a bad track off this album yet, and we've got two tracks left. One of them is the outro, and if you know anything about Scraps' outros, that's not gonna be bad. And the next track is the title track, which never usually is bad. And then just to make sure it isn't bad, you got Tiggs the off on the hook. Hopefully this hook is better than the one before. Bye -bye, I'm sorry. Oh man! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh man. now get this mic away. From... I need a moment. Oh. Is he right? Is this song gonna be almost like a? Like a eulogy? Because if so, oh, I don't know if I can. Oh, man. Like a candle for the people that we've lost. The oh. Okay, this is this is heavy. <laughs> oh, man. Scraps. The only issue I have with that song, and it's, and it's completely just a me thing, it's just me being selfish. I wish you'd done a second verse. How long was that? One minute fifty. Yeah, big man, you gotta do. A, you gotta do two verses at least. And Tiggs, I'm sorry, I doubted you. I'm. I'm. I am sorry. My bad. And now we got the outro left. Boom! I put my life. 
life into my book of rhymes I'm on the rise, now it took its time Scraps is back for the last time Now Scraps is going forward Trying to leave a fortune for my daughters Trying to travel around the world and see the seven corners In the kitchen is the only place This is the real reflection This is, the, this is what I was waiting on Who would have thought when I was sitting in court That I would turn all around and make my mum proud I'm sorry for the times I let my mum down Now she's always smiling when she's looking at her last born son Now turn my life around But I, me and Nights drinking ace of spades And we're partying and tape If you make the album <laughs> mad you can relate I've not heard the album better than this Since Do you know what? Probably since like Big Conspiracy maybe Genuinely This album is incredible I hope you I hope he releases a vinyl for this because if he does, I'm copping. I made the transition from a road man to a grown man. I want a mansion big enough to fit the whole fam feel it Transition from a road man to a grown man and I want a mansion to fit the whole fam. Oh man, that might be my favorite. That might be my favorite above this whole album now. That's like putting the cherry on top of the cake right now. The camera would die on the last song. Literally, 40 seconds left. You couldn't wait any longer. Yo, the instruments, bro. It's like Andre 3000s in there. Okay. Wow. Number one, that's Scraps' best album. I don't care what anyone says. That's Scraps' best album. That's also the album of the year so far. And it's also probably the best album I've heard in like two or three years easy i've not heard crop it's better than crop circle three it's better than crop circle two um is it better than the original crop circle Ooh, i don't know but this is genuinely this is a flawless album you know like i could easily listen to every single song back on here again like with no breaks from top to bottom. I guess if you want to like skip the girl track maybe. But even then I'm just going to still like that rock. Because I still like that track. But yeah this is. This is a genuine like amazing album. If I had to rate this out of 10. Boy. It might have to be like a 9.5 or something. Genuinely. I don't think there's a single album of all time. Which would be a 10 out of 10. But genuinely this is this album is amazing like on first listen if i actually let, let me chill out a bit let me just say a nine because this is my also my first listen as well but yeah i might have to come back to this and do like another like review of this maybe as well because off first listen this is incredible this is one of my favorite this might be one of my favorite uk albums period i'm, I'm at a loss for words right now i didn't expect it to be this good you know um yeah the scraps is rapping I don't think he, I don't think Scraps had a, one bad verse on this whole entire album. All the hooks, Bob maybe Tiggs's first one, but even then I'm maybe still being a bit, little bit picky. Um, all the hooks delivered, all the features delivered, really, like, pfft. yeah. There's not really much bad I have to say about this album, man. It might it might be a nine point five, but first listen, so I'll I'll chill. Okay, I'll chill. Um, but yeah, this was Scraps' Reflection album. Wow, I am impressed. I've just realized this makes my top 10 UK rappers list very difficult now because I'm going to have to put Scraps a lot higher after this. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want me to do more videos like this where I'm just doing like first reactions to albums. Um, yeah, or even if it's not a first reaction to an album, if you want me to just sit down and like react or like, I guess it would be like a review then. But yeah, um, let me know if you want more stuff like this on the channel going forward. And yeah, just like the video, man.